Hey everybody out there, it's Pastor John with your midweek reflection. Uh, I'm excited this week. Uh, it is Epiphany on Sunday, uh, so we'll be looking at the story of the Magi um, and visiting uh, Jesus. But we're also beginning a series called Twisted, and in this series we're going to be re-examining some popular beliefs about heaven, hell, angels, demons, Satan, the apocalypse, the end times, afterlife, all that good stuff. Um, and so just let's just take a moment now. I'm going to say those words, and I want you to try and get a picture in your head. What comes to mind when I say heaven? What about hell? Angels. Demons. The end times. Satan. The apocalypse. Some pretty crazy images, maybe. Um, maybe, you know, picturing Satan with horns and a pitchfork and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know, heaven, is it clouds, angels, harps? I, you know, I don't know. Um, but we have lots of these ideas about um, what these things are. Um, and we think uh, that, that they come from the Bible. In reality, a lot of them don't. A lot of these uh, pictures in our heads come from art um, movies, books, um, and and they're not really biblical at all, some of them. Some of them take something in the Bible and then make it kind of this absolute or concrete image. Um, some, so some of it starts in the Bible, but a lot of it, it just doesn't, doesn't square with what the Bible has to say. And here's the thing. Like, it's fine to have, you know, these books and movies and art and everything uh, about these, but... These things matter. These things impact how we live, how we think about God, how we think about our faith. Um, some of us have been taught uh, to be really afraid that if we do something wrong, we could end up in the fires of hell being tormented forever. Uh, some of us, we think about the afterlife. Um, the only thing we think about is you know, a loved one that we're wanting to see, and that's fine. Um, but it's certainly not what the script, all the scriptures have to say about what, what heaven is or what the afterlife is. Um, we can sometimes just see our lives in, in like this, this, this war. You know, you have the angel on one shoulder, the demon on the other one, always trying to tempt us or get us to do the right thing. Like we have all these, and they do impact how we live and how we think about God. There are a lot of people who have just said, forget Christianity because like, these things just don't make sense. I can't believe in a God who would just like come up with torture for people forever and ever, um, you know, things like that. So these, these things matter. So what we want to do is we want to dig back into the scriptures. Uh, we want to see what they have to say, see how, what, what, if anything, some of these ideas have to do with Jesus. Um, and some of these ideas might be really deeply embedded. They might be really important to us. Um, especially like the he heaven stuff, um, and and so and yeah, I get that. But here's the thing: um, if we're really doing our work to figure out what does God have to say, to really listen to what God has to say, whatever God has to say is better than anything we could imagine. So any true hope that comes from the gospel is deeper and more powerful than any idea or fantasy that we might have in our heads. So uh, I'm encouraging you over the next couple of weeks to think of any questions you might have about any of these topics uh, that we can maybe touch on at some point during the series. Um, but I'm looking forward to diving in with you into some of these kind of crazy things, and uh, we'll see where we end up. Uh, that's all. I look forward, as always, to worshiping with you as we live the gospel life together. I'll see you on Sunday.